Recording Mahler Symphony No. 8 is the ultimate test in teamwork. It requires an orchestra performing at its highest level, a conductor who is a born Mahlerian, a chorus ready to give their all, a team of soloists who are terrific, and a recording producer and his team working with the fabulous SACD technology to capture what's happening on stage at the highest possible level. If you look into the score, there's possibly no other composer who marked so many things in the score. Dynamically, articulation, everything. Mahler was very, very precise. What you have to do as a recording producer to really prepare the sound so that you can hear everything what is written in the score. They have done an amazing job of harnessing the technology for musical purposes. We can hear inside the music in a way that I think it's not ever been possible. Like all Mahler's symphonies, the Eighth Symphony presents an entire world of experience. The challenge of this piece, as enormous as it is, is that it actually contains an enormous amount of wit, humor, charm, irony, uh, wistfulness, I mean, you name it. And to get this many people to create a situation which can be as, as fragile or provocative or whatever it needs to be is difficult. overwhelming and the, the biggest challenge is to find your place in it. With Mahler 8 if you fight the piece you will lose <laughs> because you only have one voice and it's really tempting to actually scream as loudly as you possibly can and you will lose. When you hear the choir go from the smallest pianissimo to the loudest forte it's, absolutely, it's thrilling you know and it's thrilling to try to sort of ride that wave and to be on top of it. are just overwhelmed by this universe of sound which is coming from all sides. The power of the piece is huge. It's, it's exciting, it's emotional, it's, it's, it's just big. It's a hopeful piece. There's darkness, but the, the overwhelming message is really, really positive. Some of the soloists were completely in tears during the rehearsal. I don't know how they can stand it during the performance because this is so moving and so deeply touching. I hope for everybody. Right before the final very, very, very quiet chorus, the, the chorus mysticus, there's a winding down with the harp and the piccolo that uh, then gets taken over by the flute. And that was what, what brought me to tears. I don't know, it sounds to me exactly like what love is. <laughs> I'm gonna get all, it, it gets me every time. So I like that, I can just hear it in my ears now. And also when Mater Gloriosa comes out and starts to sing, I was completely overcome by it, it's amazing.
Mahler Symphony No. 8, with its large forces and powerful music, is a fitting capstone, and it really is the jewel in the crown of our Mahler recording series. It's a marvelous story of redemption and love. It's exciting, it's emotional, it's, it's epic. It's very fresh and very dynamic. It's a completely different interpretation from anyone else that I know. All of our recordings are characterized by this urgency to really make the music communicate. And in, in my book, that's what it's all about. There is no better orchestra worldwide for performing Mahler. There's possibly nobody right now who can achieve the same results.